Okay, so how do you get uh, promoted? We talked in the last video about what the belts are kind of esoterically, like what kind of material do you cover, but how do you specifically move from one belt to the other? Uh, we have each uh, belt requirement laid out um, with uh, stripes, or there's four stripes on each belt, and then you're awarded your next belt. Now, the stripes are awarded based on testing on specific material, so like a knowledge or performance component, um, not, not performance under duress, not like live training or fighting or competing or anything like that, but more uh, technical uh, accumulation of knowledge. I want to make sure that you have the material for that level down. So for example in white belt uh, each stripe has its own list of individual techniques that you have to do. Uh, so you'll test for that stripe, if you pass that test you're good, you get your stripe, so on and so forth. Uh, for the fourth stripe you have to roll for However, there's different uh, different minutes. I think we follow uh, uh, standard Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition rules for that. So white belt, I believe, is like five minutes on up to brown belt being like eight minutes. So the idea is after four stripes, you roll. So I can, uh, at that point, observe your, your training, see that you have the technical knowledge of all four stripes, and see where you are at, and kind of make a mental picture in my head at that point of what I want to see out of you in order for you to get your belt. Uh, after you've gotten the four stripes, uh, getting your belt is not done by a test. Getting your belt is kind of this uh, kind of this sense of when I see what I'm looking for out of you and your potential, and and that's a little bit too uh, arbitrary for a lot of people to feel comfortable with, but. Man, there's nothing I can do about that. Like, in my mind, awarding belts is very, very individualized, and it's very uh, personal. It's what I see. Uh, it's like a, an artist that does sculpture. Like, they look at a block of wood or a, or a big uh, rock, and they see in their mind what they think that thing can be. Uh, and it's the same thing. With every student, I look at that person, and I get this sense in my mind of what I believe that person is capable of. And for me, uh, at each level, when you reach that potential, that's when I award the belt. So the stripes are kind of these measurable progressions along the way uh, that help you bide your time as you progress and help you progress in the correct direction. Uh, to ensure that you get the skills necessary to develop what I want to see for that belt. But the belt itself is still kind of, uh, to this day we do it in the way that I came up, which is you don't know, there's no test. Uh, one day I walk up to you and we all beat you uh, with our belts, which is a, a loving tradition of being beaten in for your new belt. Um, so in, in any case, that's the idea, is that every belt has four stripes. Those stripes are based on technical testing of material. And every time you test, whether it's white belt, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, doesn't matter. Every single time you test, you're responsible for the material that's required for that stripe and also any material previous, any material. So my brown belts that take tests are, are being asked white belt questions, they're being asked blue belt questions, certain. So that means, one, I'm making sure I'm guiding the direction of your training as you move forward, but I'm also making sure that at least a couple of times a year, you're going back and keeping a solid foothold on the basic material so you never get too far away from that. So four stripes on each belt. Each one of those is a testable progression. Belts themselves are awarded uh, in a little bit more of an esoteric manner. It's when I believe you are at the level that I want to see for you for that belt and then I award that belt and then you begin moving on accumulating your stripes for the next belt so on and so forth so that's kind of how it works as far as uh, stripes and progressions go uh, specifically for this online uh, BJJ project the way that we do it is uh, when you are ready when you feel like uh, the material for that stripe requirement that you're working on is ready set an appointment to do an online uh, test it won't take more than half an hour 
Um, if you and a partner are testing on the same uh, level of material, you guys feel free to do it at the same time. It's, it's actually no time difference. It'll save you a little money. Uh, but the idea for me is you get a partner, you get online, I get to watch you. I get to ask the same exact questions I would ask in my school. Uh, I get to make sure that you're at that level that I want you to be at. Good to go. Uh, pass or fail, whatever happens, happens. But we go through that. Then once you get to the part where you have four stripes and it's time for you to test on your belt, ideally what I would do, the, the, what I would prefer, it's not always going to be possible, what I would prefer is that you make it to where I am or... Uh, one of my other students' schools so we can actually feel you train or watch you train with people that we have trained specifically so I know exactly uh, what your level is because I see you train or I feel you train or I see you train with people that I know. Um, barring that, if you can do that, it's not the end of the world. If you can do that, I'm going to want you to send video of you training with other people. As much video footage as you can. Send me that video. Now, for belt testing, I'm not going to charge you for that review. I'm not going to go, okay, well, send me all this material and I'm going to charge you by the hour for me reviewing it. I'm not going to do that. Like, if, you, if you're four stripe and you're ready for your next belt or you believe you're eligible, or if you have four stripes, you're eligible for your next belt. So if you believe you're getting kind of where I should be looking at it, Send footage, man. Send it every week. I'll watch it. I'll critique you. I'll tell you what you're missing. If I don't say anything to you, it's good footage. It's great. It's just not quite at that potential yet. If I see some glaring problems, I'll get in touch with you and let you know. Um, but when you're at that level, when I see that sculpture come out to be uh, kind of what I want it to be, then I will uh, let you know and we will award you your belt. You know, Ideally, I'd like it to be in person. But I understand, man, there's guys out there stuck in a garage in the middle of wherever, you know, with one or two buddies that want to train and have no access to training. For those guys, we can do the process entirely online. I prefer, man, it's going to be once every couple of years that you get a new belt from me. So I would really suggest saving up a little bit, getting a plane ticket, coming out here, getting on our mat in front of me or in front of my students at least. And, and let us uh, award it to you in person because that's going to be the most meaningful way. It's going to be the most beneficial way. But, uh, but that's it, man. Stripe progression, whether it's in person or online, that's how it goes.